Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa Blind. Uh, in the last one, we finished our Tarkas, I think. Hold on. Let, let me check that again. We finished Kiyotaka's uh, uh, free time events. There we go. Got it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I check... Because we've always we've got like Makoto's. Well, it's not Makoto's notes, they're like their notes. I don't think I looked at these for his. Everyone can like me overcome extra effort. That's my motto. And to prove. Hold on. I could read, read this in the Taka voice. Well, no, it's not the Taka voice. It's like. The Krom. Xander. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of Taka's own thing. It's a lot louder. Any problem you encounter in life can be overcome with effort. That's my motto. And to prove it, I'm going to use my extra effort to prove that the average man is greater than any genius. I've resolved to learn the lesson of my genius grandfather and rely on my own efforts to surpass anything he ever did. Yeah! You get him, Taka. You majestic creature. <laughs> Alright. Oh right, yeah, 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 Makoto wanted to go get some food. Right. That, that's what we're doing. Leave the area. You know, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't think we should be out at night time. Well, I mean, I, I guess technically it is in night time. We didn't have the uh, night announcement yet, so... <laughs> so, I guess it's okay. I just wanted to get something to eat. Yeah, I figured something was going to happen. <laughs> they wouldn't have me sit through it if it wasn't. Or if there wasn't. And now I'm going to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Oh god, no. <laughs> I mean, or, no, because... Taka, what are you doing? And also no, because... God damn it, I cannot. <laughs> Mondo's voice. No, oh, I've really just got to get that gravel. <laughs> okay. <coughs> There's something I'm. I don't know, because it's like. If I give a character just like, oh, I work really hard on this one voice for a character, and then they die in like the next episode, I'm just like. Uh, well, I mean, it's more like. Eh, eh. Well, actually, no, it's not. <laughs> so far, I've just sort of been like, what the fuck? Sort of thing, you know? Why am I talking about this now? Come on! Come on, Makoto! Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. I have a favor to ask. Uh. 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 Favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, where is it, Mon? Wait, no. Taka. Listen to me! You came at just the right time! I must ask you for your full cooperation! Okay, that was it. Mondo! Hey, what is it? Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness! What is with this colon? Reaction! Witness to what? What? These guys been talking shit about me since day one! Call me a coward and shit like that! You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! That's why you can't do what society asks of you! Why you walk around dressed like that! You know, I mean, look, Taka. We've got two extremes here, bruh. Bruh. We've got... got yeah, we've got two extremes. Good, good boy Taka. Biker... Ultimate biker gang leader Mondo. You know, that pretty much speaks for itself. You're not going to agree, Taka. Can, you, can we just leave it at that? <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't want you to have your head ripped off. The fuck you say? You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. Is this about effort, Taka? This is about effort. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am! 
No, look, Tarka, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to say you're going to lose, but I'm pretty sure Mondo is sort of, you know, stacked. I, like, look, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at that. Okay, then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. I accept your challenge. Oh, okay. So that's what happened to Mako That's what. So that's what's happened to Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You are gonna throw down? You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? And a sauna inside. I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest. Am I right? That seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> you know, just goddamn straight. Well, I guess this is what's gonna happen in here. This one of them's gonna fucking die, and it's like, oh, well, it's obviously this one. And I was like, no, oh, no, someone else was in there the whole time. Isn't that right, Phoenix? Right, Ace Attorney. I know you'd do something like that. I know you would. Uh, are you guys really gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah. He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without, are without exception, all talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. One more. Oh, sorry. No, no. Oh, one more woman without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a bitch. We're gonna battle with all our clothes on! Uh! No, that's a shit idea. You you two are going to fucking die. And quite frankly, I don't want Tarka to die. I mean, Mondo, uh, you know, I was complaining about doing your voice. So, you know, I, I can't really say, Oh, yeah, I love you, man. I hope you don't die. But, yeah, I mean, I hope you don't. Oh, shit. But if he does, then that... That does complete the, you know, the, no, it's not a trinity, there's four of them. The four people who showed up at the beginning. Um, yeah. That's idiotic! Suicidal! Yeah, Mondo, you might want to watch out here. Because, um, well, you know, I'm kind of saying that I kind of think you might sort of, are going to be the next one to die. You know? What? You afraid? Afraid? Who says that? Who says that? Sandman! Punch out Wee! Yeah. I know. I know. Afraid? Ugh! Actually, it's more like, you know, he... Afraid? Ugh. Ugh. Punch! No, see, I tried to do a visual gag. I tried to do a vi I tried to do a visual gag! Without a face cam. I am a smart, smart child. You're going to regret this! Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do it! Hey, Yo, I kind of take it back. Tucker is... Yo! <laughs> um... Not saying I'm gay for Tucker. But I'm also not, not saying that. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Taka is really... <laughs> He's got some muscles. That boy is... <laughs> I was about to say, that boy is thick. You know what? Screw it! Taka is thick! God, that is Saber. That is so Saber. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? I don't know what that means. It just so happens, I was born with a red face. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty pale, Taka, not gonna lie. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. 
now. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Taka's voice reminds me of one of the... The, um... What are they called? Um... The Red Monocub. His voice kind of reminds me of that one. Like, just with that line in particular. It was, it's, you know, like a... A low version of uh, the Red Monocub. Okay. Okay. I mean, mm, well, I feel like they wouldn't show us if one of them was gonna die. You know what I mean? Because you know, we'd be the mystery in there. So, I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, and a few dozen minutes, and an hour. Guys, you are, you are going to die. Do not stay in a sauna that long. Yes. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Great English. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel a uh, kind of cold. That's not good. That's not good. That's probably not good. You don't say. Hey, uh, guys? I know you both, both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Okay. Gah, I just can't win. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's that nighttime announcement. Monokuma's voice is just so good. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. Taka, you sound like me when I'm doing the bleep test. Is it bleep or beep? I don't know, but I'm pretty good at getting so exhausted that I pass out. Not okay, I'm exaggerating slightly. But you know what I mean. Pushing myself pretty far. Pretty hard. I do it pretty hard, see? And um yeah, it's not good. You are destroying your bodies. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. I mean that's not the only thing that matters. You're right. Like, if you don't win, you've lost, but, you know, I feel like not dying is also kind of a priority, Listen to you, you son of a bitch. You know, I've realized I haven't, like, despite how much I love Taka right now, I've realized that I'm not too attached to any of the characters yet. Like, really, really attached to any of the characters yet. Like, th and this has sort of proved it to me, because I'm like, oh no, you idiots don't die. But it's also like, if they do die, <sighs> fucking morons. And I wouldn't, like, cry about it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm still so early in. Then bring it on. Uh, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Yeah, fitting, because it'll be fine. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. Nice. Good job, Makoto. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, you will. Better crawl on back. <coughs> oh, God. No, that, 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 that's not good. To your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. Come to my... Come tomorrow morning, 
You'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Sorry, what? Am I just like so filthy that I can only take that as an innuendo? Or it's actually supposed to be an innuendo. Right? Yeah. Moving on. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right, right back at ya. Okay, well, good night then. Mikado, don't leave them. Just do a fucking stupid. Really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. I mean, I would have agreed with you, but, you know. Junko did kind of die for no reason last chapter, so... I don't think it'd be what I... <laughs> I mean, there's a chance one of them, or both of them, might die. I don't think they will, but there's a chance. The concern... The concern... The concern said... Yeah, the concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Oh yeah, in Monokuma Theatre. God, Mondo's voice just kills my- Whoa, hey! Okay. Oh god, the Monokuma- I've got to get into it before I can just do it. I'm not a teddy. I'm not a teddy bear. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Wow. Existential. Got a text message. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing that out. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. God damn it. <laughs> why? Why would someone text me now? No one ever texts me. <laughs> Back to Dungan Romper. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> it's blind LP. You've got to have everything in there. <laughs> Obviously. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Wow. <laughs> it's not even like, oh, I hope they're doing okay. Nah, I hope they survived because I know they're gonna die. Then yeah, those two losers are gonna—they're you know, dead. They're dead. One of them's like my best friend, and one of them's like a stranger, but you know, they're both dead. Worried about the two of them. I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... Well, they're both there. What are you talking about, bro? Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Can I finally do just... Oh. Bro! Dude, brah. Oh my god, hero, please don't talk soon. I can't do voices right now. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? Ha, <laughs> what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, bro? 
the fuck am I doing? That wasn't, that was another thing that wasn't even funny. I didn't even go on for like, very long. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Makoto. Oh no. Hey, Makoto. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. <sighs> gross. God, Hina. My kind of person. <laughs> I love saying gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Hell no! Feels great, more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. I mean, nah, just a couple of guys being dudes. You know how it is. I don't know what that voice was. For forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly, <coughs> our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Nataka, be careful what you say. <laughs> just saying. Ain't that right? What you just said, bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Don't. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. God, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? So, um... Who won the contest? Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That is the exact opposite of what I said last night, but that probably means I lost. Or that no one won, so it was a tie and I'm just compensating. Got it. Have I, how many times have I admired the fact that Taka's eyebrows literally come off his face? Like, BRO! This is a huge fucking eyebrows, man. I just can't get enough of them. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, we don't we have a question, all right? Men are men, women are women, all right? That's just how it is. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Okay, so I did just have a thought that's kind of been cooking in the back of my mind. Um, during the um, tu um, tutorial, quote-unquote, for the... Uh, the rhythm minigame thing. Uh, I noticed immediately that it, it didn't specify that you only do it with the killer. So, uh, I am, you know, I immediately assumed, I think I might have brought this up, that I thought, you know, that I thought something about it. But, um, well, you know, I, that... So I'm pretty sure they aren't just going to happen at the end, like, you know, maybe all the time. Maybe for now they will. But uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some uh, rhythm thingy in the doodads. <laughs> um, that's what they're called now. Thingy -do rhythm thingy in doodads. Pretty sure we're going to have some of those, uh, you know, other than just at the end. I assume the closing argument is literally the only thing that's going to consistently be at the end. So, I'm pretty sure either Mondo or Taka are gonna, we're gonna have a panic, a panic? No. We're gonna have a panic. No, I'm gonna panic because we're gonna do the rhythm thingy. Um, oh, what is it called? Uh, bullet time battle, right? BTB. Pretty sure that's what it was. BTB, BTW. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Bullet time battle. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to have one of those with one of them about the other. So, hey, Mondo, maybe you won't die. Because I, I think, like, it's got to happen. This isn't going to just be pointless. 
So I don't know, maybe in a few chapters. Or maybe next chapter. Like, they'll, they'll do something like that. Like, not... Cause, uh, I'll be real. I don't see Taka being a killer, like, ever. Even with... Even if they did the whole... Because I don't know how, like... If they're gonna... Like, uh, how many sy like, sympathetic, quote-unquote, villains there'll be. Because of course there will be some. Mm. Obviously. I mean, Leon's somewhat sympathetic, I suppose. I mean, he's still an asshole, but... You know. You know! So, yeah. Mondo, watch out! Oh no! It was a pretty unfortunate experience. Right, free time? So, what should I do today? Free- Oh no! Ding dong! Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Damn it, I'm so excited to. Hmm? Who could that be? When are you going to come to visit, I open the door and someone force their way in. Who's in my room? Um, uh, okay. Alright. I wasn't expecting you. Toko. Well, I mean, I do want to hang out with you a little bit. So. I did, didn't I? Last time I did our first one. Because the game sort of prompted me to. Toko? What's the matter? Why are you so surprised? I mean, really that annoying? Well, I already know that I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a f f f favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well. Yo, is it? Does this only happen if I do? If I actually do the free time run with her? I mean, if so, cool. If not, uh, I guess they just expected you to after the punt. Yeah, I don't know. The library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? I mean, why don't you just ask Biakia? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to talk to Biakia, like, at all. The guy's kind of a grade-A asshole, and kind of why I think he's going to survive. Because <laughs> he's a grade-A asshole. Either that, or he's going to be like that final boss sort of thing. He's like, yeah, fuck you. You did it, bitch. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's about the reaction I would have gone with. D did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret! I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. But if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library! Okay, I got it. Library. Jeez, why so pushy? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> She's weird. <laughs> She's weird. Quiet! Be quiet when you go in! Don't let him see you! She actually was starting to get annoying. But I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here! Oh, he's really here! Okay. Alright. Alright, okay, Toko, keep your knickers on. Okay, not what I was expecting. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. But why though? He's an ass. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Right, of course, but I can and get my butt kicked. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit really insane. Oh, Togo. No, I like you. But... Come on! Just talk to him! Alright, I have, still can't... I haven't got a Biakia voice quite yet. I need to nail it. I'd have thought, thought it'd be an easy one to do. Just the condescending prick voice. 
I suppose I'll just go with, yes, I'll just go with the bored, condescending prick voice. <sighs> Seems to be really focused on that book. Doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I don't even have a good look at you. Ah, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hey, um... Byakuya? Byakuya? <laughs> Save that one. Remember how you said... Don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man. No, no, I don't remember that. Toko, are you... Are you sane? Because I don't think you are. I think you might, sort of, be a fucking psycho. And thus I want to... You're now up there with Celeste, with people I want to learn more about. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. God, she is Nina. She is a mix of Felicia and Nina. You can't even stop me from believing this. She is Nina and Felicia combined. Awkward voice, the hair of Nina, and just this weird fucking... This... This... Mine's like this. Get out. I'm going to take a bath. You smell. Oh, okay. Well, maybe don't need... Okay, well, no, what did I expect? He's a fucking prick. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. He really upset her that much. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, to go that far. No. Just... No. He must be really concerned about me! Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, um, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Ryakyu and I would be good together? That guy's married to loneliness. No. And happily married, too. Um, well now, I don't really know. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Oh! Because as oh my fucking god, what am I doing? Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Yeah, yeah, you know, you literary genius. It's not a talent, but whatever. Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Hey, excuse you, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get laid by the end of this game. We got pretty close with Sayaka. She also then turned out to also be kind of crazy, but in a bit of a different way. So, hey, I'm going to get with someone. Shut up, Toko. Shut up. Well, bye. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, young love. That's not the Monokuma voice. Poo 
Ah, your love. <laughs> Who would have guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. That's, this is as close as I'm getting. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. <laughs> Me too. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Please don't! I still have free time, right? Yes, that is the sound of free time. Okay, Kyoko! I'm coming for ya! Still some time left in the day. What to do? Free time! Alright, how many mono coins do I have? 25. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. No, hold, no, presents, please. Okay. What do I have that I think she'd like? Sea salt, I don't fucking. Shader chips. Uh, hard tack, black croissant, dunno, dunno, dunno. Foundation donut, no, that's Hina's. Wait. Yeah. Sorry, for a second I was like, wait, why is that Hina's? Why are donuts and Hina's? But no, it's because it's a rubber ring, right? Yeah, it's a flotation device. There we go. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe I stopped that. Sunflower seeds, bird seed, kitten hair clip. I mean, I could get that to her. Everlasting bracelet, mm, Zoll's diamond, Hope's peak ring. I don't have any of that. Uh, Smith's limitation, blue blue perfume, scarab root. Glasses, V stick, roller slippers, red scarf, bunny earmuffs. Yeah, it's for Celeste apparently. Fresh bindings, Jimmy Deca. I don't even know what that is. Oh, the Emperor's Thong, hand bra, mm, shears, loan shears, quality chinchilla cover. I don't think you know what the, why. Door reactions, I don't know that. Tumbleweed. Who would want a tumbleweed? Rose in vitro. And I have three of these. I, mean, I could give her one. Cherry blossom bouquet. Could also give her that. Rose whip. Whew. Uh, that. That. Zay. Ray gun. Wow. Ray gunzurian. Gun gun. Self destructing cassette. This seems like a detective y thing. Because, you know, I'm still pretty set on her having, like, a crime related talent. And she looks like Gumshoe, man. She looks like Gumshoe. She doesn't. She just has the same coat, overcoat, and tie going on. But you know what? I was play. I was. I have been playing Phoenix Wright recently. If you didn't know, does. And now where is she? That's Toko, right? Yeah. Okay. So where is she? There she is. Upstairs in Biakia. It's bitula. <laughs> Sounds more like a Dracula nickname than Biakia, but yeah, whatever. Kyoko! Kyoko! Also, sorry, Chihiro. I know I started yours, but I, I just really want to hang out with Kyoko. Because she's, she's just so cool. She's also, I feel, like a main character, so I feel like I'm just obligated to do it. You know, God, like, look, look at her. You're gonna say that that's not... God, why does it go so slowly over people? You're gonna tell her she's not like Gumshoe? Who set all this up? And why did they choose us? There's so many mysteries. Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Uh, yes. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? No, I've got to not do, do the this. I don't want to do this. I want to just go with my normal voice. It's like the, not deeper, but quieter. And with the slight feminine hit and tilt, lilt to it. But not so far as to go with the Mia voice, which is basically a mix of... Mm, I'm going to say Minion, so the Olivia voice. Oh, no. No, yes. The Olivia voice, and the voice I'm giving Hina, which is like the secondary female voice. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? 
But I have my own way of doing things. I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Of course he didn't. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Yay! Try to give Kyoko a present? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. So, let's gizzardy go. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, oh, also this. Because I have five of them. Uh, oh, no. Um, mate, wait, um, okay, there we go. Okay. God. Not used to PS Vita controls. Okay. I also want to give her this. Because this is... This is a, um... This is a Detective Conan reference, right? And, uh, Detective Conan! I'm pretty sure Detective... Well, you know, okay. well, I'm not Detective. Like... Investigator. Which I guess is a Detective. Detective. Just give it to her. <laughs> I actually feel... Pleased. How strange. How strange. Wait. Oh, I don't know. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Yay. Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared. Being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah. That's good. That's... Good? So... Here is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Even from personal experience? So... Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. I mean, that's not... entirely true. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. I'm getting slightly... louder, I suppose. You... hide? Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I guess she isn't emotionless. Oh, well. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Wow, shots fired. Emma, Spun, Swice, Sayaka, totally got you, bro. And me. Well, yeah, and me. Foolishly open. Listen. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'll just sit on that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I know. Oh, thanks. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Goodbye. Wow. So who's up for spending more time with Kyoko? Me. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Yeah, well, you know, there's the first one. Yay, score points. Hey, look at you go. Woo! Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Yay. Oh, damn it. Toko, your little escapade drained me of... Drained me of time. Alright, let's listen to the announcement, then I'll end the episode. Ahem. A school announcement. School announcement. Oh, okay. Different. Night time is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, oh. all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh. Emergency! Emergency! Oh, shit. Gather in the gym. Ugh, God damn it. Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah, the music's sort of backing you up there. Ah, great. Well, nice episode stopping point. 
lovely ominous music in the background too. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Where we going to the gym, I guess. Yay. No, I don't. <laughs> Can I just like not move the story forward, please? Can we just go go back? Rever reverse, reverse. You know? Please? Pretty please. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.